MBG Duck's mom, since his passing, has been pretty vocal, right? I, I say she's been pretty vocal. I feel like she's done interview with like YouTubers and things like that, speaking about her son, trying to bring awareness. You know, she got her own YouTube channel called like Duck's Mom and things like that, right? She's she's put herself out there since her son's been killed, right? She's been very vocal about everything that's been going on, right? And as a mother, you would think that your son getting killed, you would be vocal. I don't know about like my son, I make YouTube channels and do all this, but being vocal in the community, I can understand that. So I don't have a clip. I couldn't really find, I mean, I could find the clip, but I couldn't really break it down and do all that uh, to play for you. But if you know who Son Campbell is, Son Campbell is a YouTuber who also was in a beef with the previous uh, subject we saw about Kwame Brown. And he, um, he has some pretty disparaging things to say about MPG Duck's mom. He said that she was not a good mother. Uh, that bit, pretty much like that bitch isn't a good mother. She had five kids. All five of her kids died. If I was the father of those kids and I was in prison, I would come home and I will kill that bitch. She cares more about getting the cloud off her son's death than actually, you know, whatever other causes she believes in. This real, like, derogatory shit. And I get the premise, right? I don't know if FG, FBG Duck's mom was, like, was a good mother. I don't know. With some of the things she does post-kid's death that she, like, interviews and, uh, Making a YouTube channel, being like kind of like out there as a person. I don't say she's a personality, but being out there. Would I do that? Is, uh, probably not. Like if my son got killed, you would see me more as, uh, and I felt strongly about it to do it. I'd be like an activist within the community for, you know, lower the gun violence in the community. Maybe she does do that. But most times you hear it's like a blog. She's mentioning this rapper or she's talking about this rapper doing this or whatever, right? Logical shit because if you mention my dead son, I'd feel the way too, right? But anyways, he said that about her. She came back and responded with, I wish your mother would have swallowed you. She should have made you a throat, baby. This, that, this, that. And I'm just like, bro, what is the point of tearing down a, a mother whose son died? Even, even if you feel like she is being a little bit ex, ex, exploited, right? And if you feel that way, right? And even to say that she's a bad mother because her five kids were, were gunned. I don't know how they were killed. They're all, according to him, they're all dead. I don't even know if that's a factual thing. But... She had five kids and they all got killed. This is what Hassan Campbell's saying, right? And that makes you a shit mother. I just, I just don't agree with that because living in that environment in Chicago, obviously, I mean, I'm not saying obviously, if she was a single mother, five kids, I would assume in poverty, she got to work. What is she really going to be able to do for her kids? Now, Hassan Campbell, could we, I ain't going to get into your family life, but you know, Hassan Campbell's detailed things that he's done within his life, right? Well, we say that his mom was a shit mama. I mean, maybe he would say it himself. But I would never go and attack a parent for the way their kids come out in certain circumstances, right? If you live in wealth and your kid becomes like, he wants to go be a street guy, I just don't understand that dynamic. By the end of the day, when your kids are grown and they make choices and decisions for themselves, and they want to be killers, they want to be robbers, they want to be gang, they want to do whatever they want to do, right? They're going to do whatever they want to do. I just don't see it as a critique on the parent because maybe in the, maybe this is a hard conversation because I don't know what the, maybe I'd be Duck's mom was a piece of shit mom. I don't fucking know. I just look at it distasteful to hear somebody speak about somebody like that, that they don't themselves know. Like I can't critique her parenting style of her children being killed by other people. I can't do that. Maybe she was a shit mom as far as like maybe she wasn't taking care of them. Maybe she was at home able to take care of them and she was off strung out on dope and she was doing this and doing that. I don't know those things to be a fact, but from the premise of what Hassan Campbell was speaking about, by them five your five kids getting killed in the streets of Chicago, when people get murdered in Chicago all the time, I just don't see there's a premise to talk down on a mother. Especially like imagine how much trauma this lady has if five of her kids have been murdered. Just think about that. From a hu from a human perspective, not even like no YouTube shit, not on no entertainment shit. Let's let's just say salacious shit, be funny, be wild, whatever. Just from a human perspective. Let's say FBG's mom, FBG Duck's mom was a shitty mom. Let's just say she was. Why do why would I feel it necessary to come out and say she's a hood bugger? I would have killed that bitch and shit. Like what 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 is the what is the reasoning behind that? And shit like that goes unchecked because people like us on camp, right? I know he had a little bit of controversy in the summer or whenever he was beef with Kwame Brown because Kwame Brown had the dominant audience at the time. 
and people was down on him or whatever. They was harping on him because I even says like shit. That, that, that whole street persona, like it's a forty, it's like it's corny to me. Like you older now, what the fuck are we doing street shit for? Right? I, I don't understand it. But I just looked at it as very distasteful remarks in response to a mother who who it ain't like she spoke on him. It ain't like she was like making YouTube videos like, all right, Hassan Campbell. He's a fucking this, he's that, he's this, he's that. We hate him, da 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 It was like, here's a conversation we're having. It sounded like it was like in the clubhouse room. Here's a conversation we're having. And then I'm just ripping the FBG Ducks mama. That's what I'm doing. I'm just ripping to his fucking mom. I'm not going to hold him accountable for his death. I'm not going to hold any other kids that we don't, I don't even know any other kid's name. FBG Ducks obviously was the famous one. Because, to be honest, like, he's... Died and like that's she's repping that like if your other five kids did but like your moniker is like ducks mama it's like right. that dude look like <laughs> that does look clout chasey when you think about that kid like five of my kids die but only the famous one is who I name myself after on social media so people can look me up and find me easier that does look clout chasey ducks mama I'm just that does look clout chasey but I would never call you a bitch or a bad mama because your kids got killed by I would assume. Because the FBG Duck situation, it ain't like it was one side thing. He was enthralled in the beef with old Block and all them as well. So I mean, he's not an innocent bystander in this in no way, shape, or form. It wasn't like he was just a kid on the street who he got hit by a straight bullet. He was involved in this actively from what we see. But, you know, I would never go out the way like this bitch. Uh, she a hood bugger, bitch, she a bad mama. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's bad. 